me, Tashika, and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I've got a whole brand new look going on today, and that is because it is Vlogus. So I'm in this group, and we're doing vlogs every day for August. Obviously, I have not been participating that much because this is my first video, but I wanted to be a part of this because I love my country i love jamaica and today is our independence day so i am paying homage to that yeah i know i kind of pronounced that wrong but whatever so my challenge was to i was supposed to create this look uh jamaican drag queen and this is what i came up with so i just want to put this out there as a little disclaimer this is not to mock or mimic any form of makeup expression that drag queens do i absolutely love it this is just to pay my respects and to create my own version of what a jamaican drag queen looks like and this is just what i came up with i really really love it and i hope you guys like it too if you are new to my channel go ahead and that little button down there you know the red one go ahead and click that just make sure you're subscribed make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it or if you want me to make more videos like this and click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So I'm super excited to show you guys how I created this look. So yeah, if you guys are interested to see how I got this look, just keep watching and thank you for being here. Okay, so I put this black and gold wig on because obviously it goes with the Jamaican colors. Just a FYI for those of you who don't know, the Jamaican colors are not black, green, and yellow. They're black, green, and gold. A lot of people just use yellow because it's a lot more accessible than things that are gold. So right now I'm just filling my eyebrows in. I'm trying to make them a lot bigger than my normal eyebrows as you guys can see because I'm supposed to do a drag queen imitation look and that's kind of what I'm going for. And I know drag queens usually have um, bolder eyebrows so that's what I'm trying to do and I am struggling. I'm using a little bit of eyelash glue just to put on my brush just to brush the hairs so that they stay in place of where I put them. And that's just something I learned online. Uh, there's this soap bar that you can use but I didn't have any so that's what I use. And I'm just going to use a q-tip to clean around it to conceal and just clean up all the little edges. Just the FYI for anyone interested, the links to all the other participants' videos in the vlogus will be down below in my description box so you guys can check that out. guys so i'm gonna be doing a green eyeliner i'm gonna try to do like almost a rainbow with green gold and black so i'm starting off with the green color um yeah so and i am doing a wing because i don't think i've ever seen a drag queen's makeup without wings That was actually faster than I thought it would be. Now I'm going to try to do that with the yellow as well. The yellow is actually the worst <laughs> out of all the colors I've tested. The yellow is the most flaky. 
So I think I'm gonna let the green dry just a little bit and then we're gonna do the yellow. To people who buy makeup all the time, that's not a lot. But for me, that's a lot. Oh, this is hard. My hands just keep shaking. So both eyes are done. I have to do these off camera. I can't do lashes on camera. It's really, really hard for me to pay attention to do it both at the same time. So I'm going to do these off camera so I can actually get them on my eye lash line and not on my eyelids. So I have the lashes on. Both sides look different. I don't know why. I think I did one. I did this one closer down and then did this one further away. But I'm not taking it off because it was really hard to get on there. These are not the usual lashes that I use. Usually I use just the um the Kiss transparent band ones, and these are like a little bit more dramatic. I don't even know. These are from these are Fox Mink lashes. So fake mink lashes, basically. And they're from Pro Beauty Essentials. I literally picked them up in Ross. Uh, they were not expensive at all. And I can tell because of how they feel and how they look. But they're more dramatic than my usual lashes. So I'm keeping them on. I think I have to go bigger with my eyebrows. Because they're not, they don't look like drag queen eyebrows. The only thing that on my face right now that looks sort of drag queen like is my eye shadow and drag queens usually contour so not only i forgot that i didn't do this eyebrow i was wondering why my eyes look so uneven i did not do this eyebrow so i'm gonna do this eyebrow and then i'm gonna make i'm actually gonna do them both a little bit darker so i'm fixing to do that right now because i was like why do they look so different i mean i know i didn't do them exactly the same because my hand was all shaky by the second round 
but why did it look so different? And that is because I don't have my eyebrow done and I didn't even realize and y'all didn't even say anything, but okay. I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm gonna come back on. Look at my eyebrows, they don't match at all, but they do look kind of drag queeny, especially this one. This one not so much because it's somehow a little bit more boxed. This one is really arched. Very drag queen like I must say myself. Um, I can't seem to get this one to go like this one. This one looks so much better, but it's close enough where I'm satisfied I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. And now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my lips. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of blush and I don't know. What else? Blush. I don't want to contour. I know the dry cleans. Typically contour. That's like a huge part of it. I guess I'll put on just a little bit of whatever this is. You do a little bit of a darker color. Never contour. So. That doesn't really make a difference to me. Time for some blush, and I'm using just a random pink eyeshadow like I did last time. Should work. Smile and pat, smile and pat. Smile and pat, smile and pat. There we go. That looks dramatic to me because I would never do this. You can melt the uh, the pencil stick thing, Majiggy. You can melt it so that it gets liquid-like. But I don't have a lighter. I don't smoke, so I don't have a lighter. So I don't. And our stove is electric, so I have to do it the old-fashioned way. vibes even though it's a little bit like on the darker side I still am getting that vibe from it I don't know if it's because it's just so much makeup my pores are literally crying for their lives but you know it's just for the one time I'm about to like take this all off and do like a little facial with some aloe vera just to you know make sure I get this all off my skin I haven't worn makeup in such a long time because like I have been having really bad heat rashes uh, the summer does not agree with my skin. Like, I literally, all my forehead was filled with, like, you know, those little heat pimples that you get, which are really not cute at all. So, I've been laying off the makeup. I'm a savage. <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye. That's it for the video. Thank y'all for watching. I love you guys, and see y'all in my next one.